So the springtime party we've all been looking forward to, it's finally here. It's the first day of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. The festival runs through April 14th. It all takes place throughout D.C. and the surrounding community. Some of the big festival events include the Blossom Kite Festival around the Washington Monument on March 30th, the Petal Palooza Music and Arts Festival at the Capitol Waterfront April 6th, and the Cherry Blossom Parade that's set for April 13th. NBC's Hallie Jackson has more on one iconic tree. We know that tree that's enjoying its last springtime in the sun. As far as cherry trees go, it's not the prettiest, but as far as stumps go, it's spectacular. It's famous. It's Stumpy. Stumpy. Every year I have to come at least one day. Just to see Stumpy? Just to see Stumpy. Meet Stumpy, the unexpected star of the cherry blossom season. A DC mascot, a social media sensation, and honestly, relatable. Not quite thriving, but surviving. Sure, it's kind of crooked, but hey, this is Washington. He looks so decrepit, but it's not. It's full of life. So how did Stumpy get so stump-like? Blame climate change. The National Park Service says rising sea levels mean too much salty water floods the tidal basin every day at high tide. That kills trees along the shoreline. To rebuild the seawall here, the Park Service will need to cut down 140 of the nearly 2,000 cherry trees along the tidal basin, meaning, yes, Stumpy's on the chopping block. Now, a short tree's long goodbye. A bottle of whiskey and some flowers at its base. It shouldn't exist in this way, blooming, right? It's a miracle. It's amazing. Sad it's going, but I understand why. Its fate may be mulch. Its destiny, the wood chipper. But not before arborists use Stumpy's cuttings to create clones that will eventually grow into new cherry trees. Stumpy and all the other trees that are coming on will at least, uh, we think, have a beneficial and useful second life. This spring, Stumpy's last stand, but not its final bow. Hallie Jackson, NBC News, Washington.